<laughs> Come on, Marcus, say something outrageous. <laughs> say something outrageous. Shit. <laughs> I mean, every day that passes, Jermaine Genius was like a more of a titan of the game in his mind, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. I think he was Graham Sooners, the way he talks about tackles as well. I'm convinced that he's going to win the World Cup final with Ben Whitehead in a 1 0 victory, and he, he won't even bother to lift the trophy. So can we go? Yes, yeah, see you later. I'm just convinced Maguire's got a big moment at this time. And yeah. Good old man. I really yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's a bit stodgy, a little bit stodgy, but that's to be expected though. Is it as stodgy as Algeria 2010? No, nothing, nothing not will be, not. Not be as ever as stodgy as that, my goodness. It was a huge moment in the scientific community because for 90 minutes nothing happened, not a single event, um, and that's, that's very rare. David, moments before, you mm -hmm. were literally saying that I need to get in the box. Yeah, he's one of the most effective players when he's been, you know, that sort of role. And he was just drifting between the lines there a little bit. And that's what he likes to get. Look how many goals and assists he gets. Go on. Oh. That's what you, exactly what you want to get from him. Yeah. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> You've got to be happy with that first half. As Marcus just said, you can't really ask for more. Uh, it's been uh, it's kind of difficult to overcome that stoppage because England started really well and then it got a bit slow and a bit sludgy, but they turned it around and you sense that they know they're better and actually they're just being patient. They know they're going to make chances and they've been clinical when they've come. Um, and also Saka's goal was brilliant and you're welcome. Just two words from me, mate, and that's Jude Bellingham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why he gets so much criticism, he doesn't help himself, man. He's watching the play, just watch, watch your man. You should let the number nine run free, mate. But he's had his big moment, David. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. different in this, or seemingly so far, based on admittedly a very small sample size, is they do, there's a bit, just more belief, isn't there? Yeah. In the sense that, I mean, I know this is, this is an extreme example, but I think a lot of people felt, and I certainly did as well, that in the second half of the final in the Euros, they didn't have the confidence to think they could go and get a second goal. And yeah. I think this team feels like, in terms of its personnel, it's gone up a gear, especially with that midfield. You know, they have to, really. Like, yeah, but I, I just, like I say, you, you can't base too much on this. Yeah. No. You just had a great analogy for Grealish, Jim. Sorry? You just had a great analogy for Grealish. Yes, it? uh, it's like he's a dog in the park, just running around having a lovely time. You see he's everywhere, just buzzing around. What's going on over here? Oh, I'll go over here now. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog would he be if he was any dog? He is like a sort of medium-sized dog. Very, very, very powerful. Uh, can run very, very quickly. Yeah, a lot like a retriever, actually. Yeah. Just all about food, but which in this case is gold. You missed it, David, sweet Caroline. Oh yeah, man, honestly. <laughs> Pretty desperate for it. I haven't heard it at all recently. Thanks, <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, we needed that. that.